Hey, it's Karamu, and this is a quick practice on the hips. This will be to develop the hips so that it's a much more comfortable to sit in positions like this or sitting on blocks with the knees crossed. Um, try to do everything to your own capacity, so don't try to force anything. Uh, you don't need blocks, uh, just a mat. And uh, when you're ready, come seated uh, just like this, and we'll get started. So when you're ready, bring the hands down onto the thighs and you can lift the chest up. Take a few deep breaths. So as I'm pressing down in the thighs, I inhale deep. Lower belly comes out. And then exhale again, just another four or five times. Really press down and see if you can also press the legs down actively. Pressing the hips down as well. Lifting the chest. Try to align the spine so not too much to the back and not too much curled over to the front. One more time. And then take your time, but you can shift the feet over to the left side. So I'm sitting on the right hip. And make sure that the right foot is touching the front of the left leg. If you're really flexible and open, uh, you can open out a little bit more. If this is really uncomfortable, maybe put a block or a, a mat under the hip. You should be fine. Okay. You can bring both arms out sideways. And then just inhale two or three times again. Same feeling. And with the next exhale, bring the left arm down. And on the inhale, raise the right arm. On the exhale, bring the right hand towards the left knee. Really stretch and reach out of the shoulder. You can slightly twist, press the right knee down. And then when you inhale, you come back up. Exhale, come into the twist again. Inhale, coming back up. As you're coming up every time, try to press out of the right leg to really engage in the hip. Exhaling down, slight twist, inhaling back up. Now I'm chronically tight on the left side, so you can see my left hip is popping up quite a bit. That's okay. <laughs> Working towards alignment. On the next inhale, bring arms shoulder height. Exhaling again. One more time, deep in. Exhaling over to the other side. You can bring the right hand down or the elbow. It depends on how deep you can go. So you bend and then on the inhale, reach out of the left rib cage. Lengthen the torso. On the exhale, twist down. So bring the chest down and bring the hand down maybe towards the corner of your mat. Inhaling, twist back up. Shoulder stack. And then exhale, coming back down again. If it's possible, the legs are active the whole time and we're not collapsing in the right shoulder. On the next inhale, come all the way back up in one movement. Arms are at shoulder height again, reach and open. Exhale, switch sides. Next exhale, reach the right hand down towards the left knee. And then twist back up.
And then slowly inhaling, bring arms, shoulder height again. Exhaling, reaching over to the right side. Inhaling, reach out of the torso, out of the hips. And then exhale, twisting down. Spiral, inhale, coming back up. And then exhaling back down again. One more time, coming back up. Bringing the arms at shoulder height. Exhaling here, try to really reach the shoulders and the ribcage open. Now slowly extend over the right hip. So you're leaning over the right hip, but keep the arm up. And then bring the left leg out. You can bring it as long as you want. If it's on the floor, that's fine. If you can lift, that's fine as well. But I'm not here to push necessarily to go further. Try to lengthen. Try to lift. Reaching out of the left leg and the right arm. And then slowly coming back. You can pull the knees in, turning over to one side. Just give it a second. You can slide over onto your back. There's two or three breaths here. And then slowly rolling over to the right side again. This time, come onto hands and knees. I'm gonna put my mic back. And you can bring the right leg out to the side. My left knee is down, and the left knee is, or the left foot is internally rotated. So it's not out, it's a little bit in towards my back hip. You can bring the left hand onto the left hip and slowly slide forward over the right heel and then come back. And what tends to happen is a bit of collapsing here. Try not to tuck the tailbone under, just keep the spine nice and neutral. And you're, you don't need to go far, so just think about going a little bit so you can open out into the inner thighs. If it is possible, your left heel, the inside of your left heel can try to touch the ground. So you're trying to almost turn the toes out, engaging the back, the outside of the left leg, left lower leg. One more time, coming forward, slowly coming back. This time, bring the left arm up and then just shift the hips over to the left side so it's kind of behind you and extend out of the left arm, the left ribs. You can inhale forward, twist a little bit to the front of the mat so your chest twists. And then going back again. Inhaling up. Exhaling forward. You're trying to make the longest line from the left knee to the left armpit. So maybe the hips need to sink back a bit or they need to come forward. That's completely up to you. One more time. This time when you come forward, turn completely forward so the left knee turns, bring the hands down and step the right foot back. Come onto hands and knees, going through a few cat cows here. Bring the spine into neutral. Shift the hips back just a bit over the knees. 
and then come forward again. Keep the collarbones lifted as you reach up and forward and then go back again. Bring the hips back, tailbone lifts, going forward. Don't let the belly collapse too much. Uh, try to suck the gut in just a bit. Long belly, long spine, open shoulders. If you want to make it more intense, you try to go a little bit further, maybe bending the elbows as you come down, as you come forward, but the chest does not collapse. A lot of opening out of fascia here. One more time, coming forward. On the exhale, drop back into a child's pose, knees open or closed, whatever feels more comfortable. One more deep breath. You can take your time, but we're gonna switch sides now. So coming onto the left hip with the feet over to the right side. My left foot is touching the top of my right knee, more or less on the inside of the knee. So these two are touching. You can bring the arms out nice and wide. Try to reach out of the arms, try to lift the chest. See if you can press the hips down towards the ground. And with the next exhale, bring the right arm down. And with your inhale, reach the left arm up. On your exhale, twist, bring the left hand towards the right knee. You can lean a little bit over the uh, front leg, the left leg. Inhaling back up and then coming back down again. You don't want to bend too much in the spine. So as you're moving forward, make sure that the hips are catching the weight and you're not pulling everything from the lower back. Also not trying to force anything. It's much better to go a little bit softer here. Coming up, bring the arms at shoulder height. Two or three breaths here. And then your choice. So you can bring the hand down if that's where you're at today and you reach over, you lengthen and twist down. Or otherwise you bring the elbow down, reaching over. Exhaling and twisting the chest down. You might feel that the ribs or the core is collapsing. So try to make sure that everything stays nice in line. You can think about your spine as a, an axis that you're trying to rotate around. Not too much of a bend happening here. more time. On the next inhale, rotate all the way back up, spiral. Arms are nice and long, shoulders wide. And then we're going to switch sides again. So as you Exhale, you bring the right arm down, inhale, you reach the left side up, lengthening. 
And then on your exhale, again, twist. See if you can bring the arm down. You're really trying to reach out of the shoulder as well. So not that your shoulder's coming up to the ear, but that you really feel your shoulder blade moving along by the rib cage. Inhaling back up, shoulder height. Open out, exhale, lean over to the left side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come back up. And if the breathing is going a little bit too fast or you would prefer to inhale as you twist, Feel free to do that, make it your own. And also make sure that the shoulder isn't just hanging, your head, neck isn't hanging, everything's nice in line. Inhaling, coming back up. Arms, shoulder height. Two or three breaths here. And then slowly reach over the left side. You can bring the right leg out. Again, if your leg is lifted, that's fine. If it's not lifted, that's fine as well. But wherever feels comfortable for you, hold the position, leaning, reaching out of the left arm, reaching out of the right arm. And slowly coming back. Use the hands. Turn the body so that the hips are nice and level, the feet, knees are bent, and you can lean back on to your back for a second. Give it a rest. Two or three breaths. If you feel like there are spaces that are opening in the body, try to focus on breathing into those spaces. It helps to clear out some of the energy that's getting loose. Roll over to the right side. We're going to switch sides again. So you can bring the <clears throat> right knee down this time and then step the left foot out. So my left toes are pointing over the front of my mat, square over the right hip. Now, what I sometimes see is that the left hip sticks out to the back foot. Try to keep that tucked in nice and nice and tight, so we're not tucking the tailbone, but the hips are nice and square and your butt's not sticking out. Okay, lean over to the left side. You're reaching over the heel towards the toes. And slowly. Try to really use the core to keep yourself lifted so you're not collapsing on the front of the spine. Two more times. And then we're gonna come up center, bring the right arm up. You can push the hips slightly to the back. If you can straighten the front leg, that's fine. And then you come back again. Let me try that one more time. Shift the hips back, bring the right arm up. Exhale, twisting forward. Reaching out of the right arm. Inhale, back up. Exhale, twisting forward. Inhaling, back up. Exhale, twisting forward. Inhaling back up. One more time. Come 
Coming back center, <clears throat> bring both knees in. Let's get a sense, ooh, cracked in the knees there for a second. Get a sense for how it feels. Again, if it's not comfortable to sit here, just put something under the uh, legs. You can put like a blanket um, under the shins or you can tuck something in between by the knees. Take two deep breaths here. Now from here, we're gonna come into a child's pose. Uh, how am I gonna turn? I'll turn like this. <laughs> come into a child's pose with the knees nice and bent, all right? If um, child's pose is really tough, by the way, if you wanna take a break for the knees or ankles, just pause the video. You um, can take a break. If child's pose is okay, you're either on the elbows or up on the arms. It really depends. But what I want you to do is press the knees out a little bit. So just enough that you can feel the hips engaging. As you press the knees out, you're gonna lift the chest up, drop the elbows towards your mat, keep the chest nice and lifted. So imagine reaching the elbows down, reaching the collarbones up, and then pressing the knees open. The knees don't shift, it's just engaging on the outside of the hips. Inhale, two deep breaths. Now drop the left elbow in the center of the mat, right elbow just about the outside of the knee, and you're gonna twist over spiraling through the spine and coming back. Again, decide on your own breath, but I like here to inhale and twist, and then exhaling back. We're not trying to bend in the spine here, so try to keep it nice and long. And then slowly come back into center. You can bring the elbows right down in the center again. Try to sink the hips back if possible. Just get a sense if there's a difference here. And then we're gonna switch sides. So bring the left hand down, right elbow down, and you're twisting towards the left side. And exhaling back into center, inhale, twist. Exhaling back. Knees are still actively pressing out. Not that they're sliding, actively pressing out. And last time. Coming back into center, you can bring the arms a little bit more forward, push the hips back, and then maybe drop the chest down. From here, lift the chest up again. You can bring the knees in. Feel the difference. This is mostly just trying to open up the fascia. So if you're working on the mobility, trying to get more space in the hips, this is a great practice. But also remember, you need to stabilize. So also do the next video. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Namaste.